artists, it's Ms. Messer, your friendly neighborhood art teacher. Today's lesson is starting here in my reading corner, where I just got done reading this great book called Crown, Ode to the Fresh Cut. Crown is written by Derek Barnes and illustrated by Gordon C. James. It's about a little boy who feels totally transformed when he visits his barber and gets his hair cut. Here he is. His fresh cut lets him feel ready to take on the world. With his hair looking good, he's confident and energized. I would definitely encourage you to check this book out. The illustrations are beautiful. And I loved reading about all the descriptions of different hairstyles. You can find read alouds of this book online and I've posted a link underneath this video about where you can buy the book to help support its author, illustrator, and message. I thought this book would be a great way to kick off today's lesson, which is all about haircuts. Before we start making art, I have one more haircut themed artwork to share with you. This is a painting from 1942 by Cuban painter Kundo Bermudez. It's called Barbershop and it's easy to see why. We are going to use this as inspiration as well as the book crown as we do our lesson today. For today's lesson, you'll need a cardboard tube, a pair of scissors, something to draw with like a marker or crayons, a strip of paper, and some tape. Make sure you have a grown-up's permission before you use scissors. We're going to start with drawing a face on our tube. The face can be anything you want. I want mine to show a facial expression. Then you can turn your tube over to the other side and make a new face. I chose to make this one show a surprised facial expression. Next, grab that strip of paper. Wrap it around the top of your tube to make sure it's long enough to go all the way around. Set aside your tube to cut vertical lines on your strip of paper. Here's what not to do first. Cut, cut, cut. Oops, I cut it all the way off. You don't want to cut all the way down. You want the paper to look like a fringe. So cut until you get close to the bottom and then stop cutting. And then you're going to continue that all the way down your strip of paper. Nice! That's looking great! And now it's time to put the hair on your tube. Using a few pieces of tape, carefully tape down your strip of paper. Make sure you're taping down the side that does not have cuts in it. You might want to ask a grown-up or older sibling to help you during this part. It can get a little tricky, but try it on your own first. Okay, now it's time for, you guessed it, give your tube a haircut. You can cut one piece at a time or cut a bunch at once. It's totally up to you. You can also fold the hair to make different hairstyles. Another thing you can do is curl the hair by using a marker or a pencil and wrapping the paper around it. Watch as I finish cutting, folding, and rolling the hair on my awesome artwork. Okay, artists, thanks for joining me today. I love what I made and it was fun to make haircut art with you today. See you soon, artists. 